Welcome to the first episode of the IndieResource.com, how to make a browser mworg. Uh, I'm Halls Valhalla. Before we get into requirements and introduction or anything, I want to go ahead and get us started on downloading what we need to get started. And that's going to be WAMP. Go to your, your favorite web browser uh, and search engine, whether it's Google or, or Yahoo or whatever, and type in WAMP. And the first link that should that comes up should be the actual WAMP. And over here you will see WAMP Server 2.0H. Let's click on that. Download WAMP Server 2.0H. This should bring us to SourceForge. And we should get a pop-up. Save file. And now that while that's downloading, I'm going to do everything in real time. So that way I'll walk through with everyone exactly how to do this. Uh, there won't be any editing or anything like that. That way we're not skipping anything. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not a professional programmer by all means. Uh, most everything I've done is self-taught. We're, we're basically going to use only HTML, PHP, and MySQL. The requirements, you don't really have to have any requirements beginning I'm going to pretty much teach you everything you need to know. Uh, we're not going to go into anything super complicated. This game is going to be a pretty simple game. I mean, we'll go into a little bit of, of neat features, but nothing too big. So if you're a professional programmer and you hate the way I code, I do code a little different. Uh, sometimes my coding is sloppy. Sometimes it's different than what you're used to. I apologize. All I can say is don't watch the videos. If you're a professional, you shouldn't be watching the videos anyway because this is not a super complicated MORG that we're building. It's just a simple MORG to kind of get everybody on the right track on how to build MWorks through the web browser. Now once that's done, we're going to double click, OK, and run. And basically what we're doing here is we're installing a local server. We want to build, we want to make RPC a local server to where we don't actually have to buy our domain and everything and set that up and then we're all not sitting on, on a, a different domain. Let's go to next. Accept the agreement. If you want to read through it, there it is. Go to next. Make sure to put it in WAMP just to make it easier on yourself. You start putting in a different directory, you're going to get lost. Uh, we, if you want a de desktop icon, you can. I'm not going to put one on there. Let's do install and let that install. Basically what I've done is I've taken, I built a, a PC real quick and, and reinstalled XP on it and now I have a blank machine with just a basic XP so I can start out fresh and you guys know that I'm starting out fresh so we go through every single option together. Uh, <clears throat> as we build we will be taking two or three weeks between each couple sets of videos so we can do Q&A. If you want to go to Indie resource.com here we are going to basically be building the game from here uh, if you go to the forums we're going to let the community build the game when you ask for features or when you say well I want the, the project to go this way we're gonna let everybody vote and that's the way we're gonna build the project there's nothing planned I have nothing planned on this whatsoever if you go here to browser MMO tutorial this might look different by the time you see this video but most likely not we're gonna have all the polls in here we have the general the game design document it's barely filled out so that's what I need the community to do is to help me fill it out and then we'll build off that so that way if there's a feature you want to see in there that you don't know how it's done and you want to know how it's done, this is the best place to do it. We haven't even really picked a genre yet, so this first video is going to be about getting everybody ready, and then we're going to go through and we're going to figure out what we want after this point. A couple things also, I'm not going to do any document types whatsoever. Uh, we don't really need them for local server, it's not that important. If you don't know HTML and you don't know what I'm talking about, then don't worry about it. You will figure it out later, or we'll go over it a little later. But the big thing is, is I don't know what kind of system you're using, uh, and this just makes it easier for everybody. <clears throat> it says, Firefox has been detected on your computer. I use Firefox. I love Firefox. If you don't use Firefox, make sure you use an up-to-date version of whatever it is you're using, especially Internet Explorer. The older version is Internet Explorer. 
does not do well on transparencies. So I'm going to hit yes. And that's going to finish up. Also, the requirements behind this is PHP, HTML, and MySQL. You don't really have to know these. That's what I'm going to try to teach you a little bit, but I do recommend I'm not the master of any of those, and so there's going to be things that I'm going to miss that you guys will be able to say, hey, you missed this part. And there's going to be things that, that I may not have done right that I'm more than happy if somebody says, hey, you did this wrong. So if you want to go and, and learn these on the side, just the basics, it would probably be a wise thing. Leave your leave everything as local host. You can put in an email there, but I don't really recommend it because this is just local right now. We want to go ahead and launch. Let's hit finish. And let's go ahead and close this out. We don't really need this for right now. Now, if you notice down here, we now have the WAMP server is offline and it's in red. If you click, we want to make sure we start all services. And you'll see it. It'll go from red to yellow and then to white. Looks like it's all, there goes the yellow. Now let's click it again and let's put online. Now let's go to my computer. And C drive and WAMP. All that. Let's go open up, back up our internet. And basically, WAMP installs a default page that you can actually hit your MySQL database, your PHP My admin, and that's all located also here. As far as your local host, also is located here. Now, let's go back to the WAMP directory. Let's go to the www, that's your, your local server files. Here's that index.php that they already have in there for you. So let's see what that, has, that file has on it. Let's go to local host, hit enter. This is that default uh, .php or the index.php. It has your PHP info, your MyAdmin, SQL Lite Manager. We're not really going to use this whatsoever. So, I mean, you will have all your different projects listed here, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and start our project. Let's go ahead and test to make sure everything's working right. Let's make a new folder. Let's name it Tutorial. And let's open up tutorial. Let's make a new text document. Let's name it test.php. Yes. Now, one thing you need to make sure if you don't already have this set, most of you probably do, go to tools, go to folder options, go to view, and right down here it says hide extension for known file types. Make sure that's unchecked. Because if it's not, what will have what have you just saved would have been test.php.txt and that wouldn't have worked. Let's go ahead and open up the test.php and if it asks you what you want to open it up with, notepad or wordpad's fine. Now let's start our first block of PHP. This PHP always starts with that right there. And let's put in a line. Let's do echo, which is the same as print. You can still use print also. This is a test. And for you hello worlders, hello world. Semicolon. PHP always ends in semicolon. And let's close our PHP. Oops, backwards. Close our PHP. Now, PHP does not recognize white space. So you can put it all the way down here. You can leave a space there. The only place that it's going to recognize it is inside quotes whenever you're writing a sentence. But as far as this goes, that's fine. That would work. Now let's save this. Let's close it. Now let's test it out. While you're still in your local host, let's go to our tutorial folder. And let's do our test.php enter. And there we go. This is a test. Hello world. And that concludes the first episode. I'm going to go ahead and make a second episode that will be actually delving into our MySQL and creating our login page and authentication page.